Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this short video, we're going to talk about the new feature Playwright has released recently in the Playwright.net is the support of the X unit. So if you have been following along Playwright sometime, you know that Playwright does not support the uh, X unit by default. They only support MS test and N unit, but they don't really support X unit. But now X unit is also being supported. So if you go to the release notes of the Playwright.net, uh, and you can see that in the version uh, 1.50, they released the support of the X unit uh, with the 2.8 plus via the Microsoft.Playwright.x unit package. So you have to use this package to get the access or the support of the uh, X unit over there. But again, in my Udemy courses, as you can see over here, the automation framework development with Playwright in C sharp.net, also in the uh, course like end to end test automation with Playwright with uh, TypeScript, C sharp, Java. So in these courses, I have already covered uh, using X unit completely so it's not that i'm using n unit in this entire course i'm using the power of x unit already and i have covered this course like a couple of years before that x unit is already supported in playwright but now microsoft's playwright is officially supporting the x unit that's what we have uh, we are looking at this uh, this way over here and also they have got a separate package called as microsoft.playwright.x unit where you can do some things which i'm going to quickly show you in this particular video so again if you are going to be planning to work with microsoft playwright and if if you wanted to use X unit because your developer teams are comfortable with X unit, I highly recommend you to go with X unit rather going with the N unit or with the MS test because Microsoft Playwright does support it. That myth is gone. You can now use X unit out of the box, which is awesome. So we'll quickly see how we can write the code over here. So I have done this code already a bit over here, but I'm going to show you everything from the scratch. So in order for you to do that, let's go to the uh, IDE over here. Um, so I'm just going to create everything over here. So you just have to create a folder or maybe you can just use the command, something like .NET uh, new, and then you can just give something like a test and then you can give the name or using the command line. And if you are very much uh, familiar with the IDEs, then you can do that as well. So all you have to do is just go to the file new solution uh, and you can give a name uh, over here. So I'm just going to leave this as a test project four or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to choose the .NET 9, which is the latest and the greatest version during the time of recording. And I'm choosing the type as X unit instead of the uh, uh, instead of using the MS test playwright or N unit playwright, something like that. So I'm just going to use X unit. Uh, I'm going to create this. This is what you have to do if you are using Rider IDE. Again, Rider IDE is free for the community, uh, like uh, the non-commercial uh, version. So you can use it for the community edition like Visual Studio. And then you can start writing the code from there on. So I think I have already created that project and I'm just looking at why this project is not spawned up. So I'm just going to go over here. It was test project four, just this one. And yeah, this one. So I'm just going to go and uh, open it. Uh, and I'm going to drag this guy over here. So this is the project that we just created. So if you just go and hit this uh, edit uh, in the project, uh, which is this one, you will see that we're using the .NET 9 over here. And then um, we have got the X unit already available version 2.9.2 right so these are things that we already have which is amazing uh, and now i'm gonna start working with a code over here so we have got a simple uh, like scaffolding of the x unit code uh, so before that i'm gonna first add the playwright uh, for working with it again the package which i'm going to be using is the microsoft uh, playwright.x unit uh, instead of the microsoft.playwright so i'm just gonna say x unit you see that this is the package which I'm talking about. This is the new package which Microsoft has just recently added. I'm going to go ahead and add the package, the NuGet package within my project. So you should see the package which is being added in your packages over here, uh, which is this one, Microsoft.Playwright.xUnit, which is cool. And now we can start writing the code. Again, to write the code, it's very, very simple. You just have to give something like a page. And this page is going to be uh, like, sorry, it's page test. And this is going to be coming from the Microsoft.Playwright.x unit. So I'm going to go ahead and add that reference over here, uh, like the uh, like the namespace. And then once it is added, then I can start writing the code. And the writing the code is also very, very straightforward. All I have to do is like, uh, you have to first of all make the, this as the uh, async because uh, Playwright code is all async, as you know. Uh, and over here, I'm just going to say, um, 
await and I'm gonna say page dot and we can just give whatever that you want to use. So let's say uh, I'm gonna go to the URL, so which is gonna be the http colon eaapp.somi.com. You can go to this particular website by using this particular um, this particular code. And then you can also do like to have um, page or maybe expect. So you see that the expect library is gonna be available out of the box because we have this page test. And then I can just say uh, expect the uh, page and then to have the URL as the same URL as you are seeing over here, you can do that. Or you can also put the title if you wanted to, so you can do that. Uh, it's all gonna be working fine. And then I'm gonna just write a couple of lines of code over here. I'm just gonna say page dot, uh, click async, uh, and over here, I'm just gonna say text is equal to, so login. So basically I'm gonna perform a login click operation over there. And once the login is clicked, then I'm gonna enter the username and password. So I'm just gonna say page dot uh, fill async uh, and over here, the uh, username is equal to my admin. So this is the locator that I have and I have did that. Uh, and I'm just gonna, uh, maybe just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it over here. I'm gonna say password as the password. Right, this is the thing that I'm gonna enter over here. That's it, this is the code. This is the only thing that you have to do while you write or use the X unit while you uh, use this, this particular library. Uh, and then the uh, way that you can write the code is also very, very straightforward. All you have to do it is you just say uh, CD test project four, you just navigate there. And if you just do LS, we have this test project again. Go there and LS, we have this project. Uh, and now we just have to do .NET uh, test. And if I hit enter, uh, you should see that the uh, code should start working from there on. So look at that. It is going to, it's going. To, it's actually running the test for us behind the scene. Uh, and then you look at that, it's gonna take a bit of a time for the first time. And then it is just going to run for us over there. Let's just wait. There we go, it failed. Uh, and it says that the text uh, login is uh, not appearing for some reason. So the reason why this is not happening is because, I mean, the reason why we can't see this particular, pro uh, this particular UI is because by default, the page test will run the test in the uh, headless mode. So we have to run this guy in a head full mode. And the way you can run this in head full mode is by adding a run settings file. So you can just add the run settings file over here. So I'm just gonna say, uh, over here, add a file, and then I'm gonna say uh, test dot run settings, something like that. And then we have to add a run settings file, which I have already added uh, before. So I'm gonna go copy that and paste it over here. So this is gonna be like an XML file where it's gonna be tagged as Playwright, and then the browser name is Chromium. Launch options, in the launch options, we're gonna set the headless as false because we, we are expecting the uh, the, head, the head full mode to be launched, and then I'm closing all the tags. That is the only thing that I'm gonna be doing in order for me to run this code in the um, headless mode. And once it is there, I can just say .NET test, and then I can just say settings, of test.run settings, which means it is gonna open the browser for me over here. As you can see, the browser is opened. Uh, and then it should click the login, but apparently the login was not clicked because uh, for some reason the locator is not correct. So if I just gonna go back to our locator over here, look at that. So we have got a um, uh, an error here because I'm using a colon. So I'm gonna just remove that. Uh, and I'm gonna stop the test and I'm gonna run it one more time. So hopefully this time it's gonna open, it's gonna click the login and then it should enter the username and password, which was very instant and it's passing for us over here. So this is how you actually work with the Playwright with X unit uh, and it's already supported. That's the good news. That is the reason why I wanted to show you in this particular video. This is a very, very short video. I just wanted to demonstrate how you can make use of the playwright.x unit as well in your workflow if you are thinking to move to x unit uh, instead of just sticking around with the n unit or ms test i personally prefer x unit because it has got a lot of features um, and it is widely used among the developers community if we want to keep our test code aligned with the developers code and also make our life more easier while we communicate with developers 
I would recommend you to go with XUnit rather than NUnit or MS Test. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.